Raised radii trumpets versus floor radii. What are the benefits of either or and which way should we go? G'day guys, Jake here again from Bain Racing. And look, it comes down to uh, planum design and volume and throttle body position. The more biased the throttle body position is and the worse the planum volume ratio is, meaning like with our OEM, so stuff like this, where they're down near 50 to 70 percent. So their exchange rates are, you know, 360 degrees to 540 degrees. So they'll exchange that planum volume every time. So, um, we want to add a trumpet in there to create more dead area, more slow speed spread for air to actually travel front to the back on that bias throttle body position without washing out our closer cylinders to the throttle body. Uh, and we see this in a lot of OEM stuff with really, really close throttle body positions as they lack that expansion or that slow down zone from the throttle body. So. We look at something like this with a very, very perpendicular throttle body, very, very parallel roof. Uh, this would be optimized to have trumpets, uh, mainly because we can utilize that dead area now to actually flow underneath and around the trumpets. And, and as I said, this is where a lot of OEM manufacturers will do this. The small planum makes them very reactive, uh, and the trumpet tends to uh, allow better spread front to back as the air can flow down and under and around the trumpets and enter into the cylinders needed so the cylinder can pull right around even from underneath it. But it does cost us horsepower uh, mainly because we are adding that dead area uh, and we are turning the airflow path. The airflow path is extended uh, over a well-designed tapered planum. So something like this, it has a really good expansion zone. We slow the air down from two to 300 feet per second to sub 150s, 125s, and then it can make the turn a lot more stable. And then we're adding a velocity gradient front to back. Because remember, the front of the manifold needs four or eight times more air than the back of the manifold needs. And we see this now in Ferrari in their evolution. Now they've got a nice expansion zone after the 360s. So something like the uh, 458s, uh, they've done really well. Anyway, cheers guys.